Hi everyone, welcome back to Super Donkey Kong 64. In the last video we did Angry Aztec, the second level of the game, so in this one we're naturally going to do the third level, Frantic Factory. Uh, this is probably where the game starts to get really good, I'd say. It's one of the better levels. I mean, they're all honestly really good, like I enjoy them more than like the real levels from DK64, maybe with one or two exceptions. Uh, and certainly a lot better than like most Mario hacks. Can I make this jump? Yes I can. So this brings me to another point. Like a lot of these little things that you'd see around DK Island on the Kremlin ship are obviously sealed off. Um, there actually is nothing behind them. I just push the camera through there. That's not a loading zone, it's just a black wall. So yeah. Um, cause I'm sure you're, you're probably wondering about that stuff. Because there is quite a lot of little secret areas around this place. Uh, the Fairy Island is still there. But there's absolutely nothing on it. It's completely superficial in this game. So let's just continue to head up this ship. Obviously one difference between this hack and the real TK64 is that like whenever you come onto this uh, this part of the game, in the real game, the music changes to something else. In this one it's just a regular one, I guess. Who cares, right? What a big, it's not a big deal. So I had an idea that you could maybe do some kind of bullshit and like get up to hide out helm early, but uh, whatever, who cares, let's just out of the level. So this is the only level in the game which, as the sign is about to tell us, doesn't have a 100 coin star. Now, this is because there aren't 100 coins in the star, and he's used the seventh slot to like just uh, just be another star, but because there's a bob bomb there, I'm actually convinced that I could clone him enough times and get enough coins that um, I could get a hundred, but I know for a fact that nothing would actually happen. No star would appear. Because we've tried this in other hacks before. If the seventh star slot is already filled, then that basically is a hundred coin star. So yeah. He's telling you about one of the one of the stars that you can get in here. Basically telling you that there's ghosts in here, you have to go around and kill all of them. But before I get to that, I want to show something off. This is like the only level in the game where this is really true. It's split into two sections. If I come through here. It's basically like going through a pipe. This section over here leads to the production room, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm going to leave that till the end of the video. So there is another way back from that, um, kind of at the other side of the room, and at least to the entire rest of the level, which is what I'm going to focus on for now. Obviously, the coin counter did reset, so there is a maximum amount of coins that you can get in this level, and it's only going to be true for like one section because it's going to reset when you go to the other. Uh, you can get more coins in this half of the level than you can in the other. You can get 38 in here. I'm not going to bother with it, because uh, there's not even any 100 coin star to get this time, so I'm just going to go around, kill all the ghosts, pick up any stars I happen to see along the way if I can grab this thing. Let's see what's up here. All the music in this game, obviously, it's uh, just like remixes from of the, of the real songs from DK64. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. This one's pretty okay. Uh, I think this just leads back down to where Snides is. Yeah, I've already got the ghost that was in here. So I'm just going to head back up. And... Yeah, I mean, I guess this level... I mean, I like it a lot in this game. I like it probably more in this game than I do in DK64. Some of the stars in it are pretty cool. But um, there's a lot of pole climbing, so it is a little bit slower than the first two, I would say, but that's okay. So, I think the last of the ghosts is this one. I could be wrong, there might be one more. Let's find out in a minute. If I can kill the thing, and we'll know if there's a coin floating in the air. And there isn't. Oh, there is. Okay, I guess he doesn't have a coin inside him. That makes sense. For some reason I thought that the game showed you that, but maybe not. Anyway. That's our first. That's our first star of the level. Um, this is the first level in the game where I can actually get all the stars without any upgrades. By the way, um, I know maybe if you're watching this without having played the game yourself, which I don't recommend. By the way, I think you should play along with me. Then you might not really appreciate how useful the upgrades can be. Uh, but they actually do make quite a lot of things quicker and easier, and in some cases possible. So, you know, if you're playing this game, I would totally suggest playing it normally. Just so you can see 
what a difference it makes. I mean, it's not like a massive inconvenience to not get them, but it's an interesting little challenge that I wanted to do. Um, I don't think there's much you can do over here. Although, one thing I did notice earlier is that you can walk through this thing for some reason. I think you can backflip up and stand on top of it. And the same with this bit, you can come out here, but then you can't go back in, so... Kind of interesting collision detection there. And there's a 1-up up here, of course. Is that for Slippery? It seemed like it was. I must get this, by the way. Okay. I have accomplished something worthwhile. So where do I want to go? Head over to Research and Development, which is over here. Uh, there's two stars that I can grab in here. I've already got two, right? Yeah. So I think I know where they all are. I can certainly think of two that are in this area, at least. So you don't want to touch this stuff, it's just lava, so we'll just ignore that. First stars in this awful Simon Says game that you play as Lanky, you have to stand on all the keys, I think. Or maybe just like walk by this area, I don't know. Kill all the Goombas that come out, and you get a nice star at the end of it. I think that is the last one, but I can't seem to grab him. There he is. Okay. Oh, no, there's one hiding. Alright, so, you know, much better and more enjoyable than the one that Lanky Kong has to do. But pretty much anything's more enjoyable than, play as, than uh, playing as him. I'm tripping over my words here. Alright, oh gosh. So, head up to this next section, and actually, once I've got this star, I'm done with this half of Frantic Factory. It's not that one, it's the one up here. So, this is like the only boss, I think, except for like the final boss. It's just the usual bob Omb King. Nice position in that little black ball, by the way. Get out of my factory. So, I'm going to stand off the edge and explain what's kind of cool about this fight. Um, what you're supposed to do, as you can see, these things shoot fire at you. It's almost impossible to like grab them and throw them three times without dying because of that. As I demonstrated in video one, there's a power up you can get where you press L when it makes you Metal Mario for a second, so when you do that, you won't die. But there's actually a way to cheese this. So I'll just backflip over him. I'll pick it. Oops. Okay. I'll pick him up. I'll throw him off. And luckily, that still counts as a hit, and he doesn't go back on the platform, so I can just do this again. And then one more time. And he'll be dead. Now, where does the star appear? Is it like over here? I don't remember. I guess we'll see in a sec. It's in the middle. I guess that makes sense. A little bit scary. Don't want to take any damage after I come out of this little cutscene. I think we should be okay though, based on the flame positions. Oh, that was a failure. <laughs> That's okay though. So, yeah, we're done with this half of the factory, so I'm going to find the exit to this place. It takes us back to the production room half. Um, is it down here? It's in the one that doesn't have a, a pole in it. So it's got to be the one up here. Uh, over here. Yep, that's it. So just like in the main game, it takes you down to this room in here. Power hut's right here, normally. Um, there's not really a lot you can do. This is obviously where Cranky is. So I'll go and take a look up there just to see what it looks like. I'm not going to go in his house like I haven't done so far. At least not for any use of them to show it off. I just want to make sure there's nothing back here. I'm pretty certain there's not. Is there even any coins or anything? No. Is there anything on top of his house? Nope. There's not even a one up on top of that toy box. Damn. Okay, so yeah, this section is kind of barred, but whatever. There's a cool star that you can get here. You can use the bullet bill to break open this thing. I'm glad they incorporated something like that. I think it's really neat. Grab a star. So the only two, st I've got five, right? The only two stars left are both in the production room, and one of them is kind of a pain to get. I'll definitely try and do it without save states, but there's no promises because I don't actually care that much. Um, the red coin star is in here, as you can imagine. It's quite a nuisance to get around. I want to have a quick look around this ground area just in case there's any down here. I don't think there are. I think they're all a little bit higher up. Can I get up here like this, actually? Uh, not if I'm going to jump like that, I can't. 
Come on, do a side flip. Uh, okay, do another one. Okay, that's that's definitely possible, so we're obviously going to do it that way. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Although, alright, I'll try it once more, and if it doesn't work, I'll just, uh... I'll just leave it and go up the slower way. Well, th this is proven to be the slower way, forget it. It's not worth it. I need to go up higher up anyway, so it's okay. Come through here. So yeah, as you can probably already see, I'm going to be able to get all the coins in here. Or all the stars in this level, I should say, without um, using any power-ups. They definitely would make this star a lot easier, but it is doable without them. So now I'm going to have a look around and see if there's any on these little bits that stick out, because I know there's always one that I managed to miss. Alright, so they all must be higher up, that's okay. Oops. Uh, maybe up here. Just let me know if you can see them, he says to himself. Alright, um, yeah, that's the one that I always manage to miss, because it's kind of like... You have to like drop down to it, I guess. And then probably drop down and get back, so we'll head over here. Some of the pipes move, most of them don't, really. Um, how am I going to get across there? The camera doesn't really help me here. You know, for a Mario hack though, the camera generally isn't too big of a deal in this one. There's only a couple instances where it's like a real nuisance. I think I'm going to grab that one first. But, um, you know, this is obviously quite a bit harder than the real DK64 in this section where you've got like the banana porter that can take you back up if you, if you fail. Grab this one. Yeah, I mean, some of the red coins are really easy to get, but some of them are just a nuisance. Uh, back up here. I think this might be leading... Yeah, this is probably leading to the other star, which I'll, I'm happy to grab right now. Just line myself up. Yep. I don't know, I'm getting a little bit better at that, I guess, like seeing where the thing... where he's, like, going to jump to. So like things like this is why having the quote unquote ponytail twirl would uh, be helpful here. I mean I can't really yeah I, I feel like that, that's good enough yeah. Okay and now I can change the camera which is great. Uh, kind of scared to jump. I think that's lined up. Yep, that looks good. And then for this one I'm just gonna actually fall off the vine straight into the star. And I'm gonna miss it. That is that's really annoying actually. <laughs> uh not sure why that happened. But I do feel that my time has truly been wasted now. But that's okay. I'm not gonna get mad about it. It's not worth it. It's only a video game. Let's just keep going. Uh I guess I'll go this way. Is this gonna be useful? Oh god. I really need to get like a new N64 controller or something because uh, this analog stick is just a piece of crap. My finger keeps slipping off of it as well. I think like it's pretty much done. I could take that up, but I think you can actually walk up this thing, right, without falling back down. Am I making this up? Okay, I'm going to start kicking just to be safe, but that's probably easier than going on the pipe anyway. Right, if I get to here, it should be safe. I think I know where all the red coins are now, so... Shouldn't be too bad. So... Um, at least I think I know where one more of them is. Yeah, it's below me, below where I am right now. So I'll just have a quick look around and see if we can see the other one. Is it higher up than I am? Oh, there it is. Okay, so neither of them are that hard to get. Grab this one next. Just long jump to it. And can I do anything to get back up? I probably can. Obviously, I'm gonna try. Oh, come on, I was totally on there. Oh well, whatever. Let's head back up to the the highest section. Which is not this way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the music's obviously good. Not this one of the few things about DK64 that everyone pretty much agrees is a positive. So there is that. So, where's that other red coin? I've got seven right now. Right. I think I might need to be higher up, actually. I, I guess I'll just go this way. 
I guess I won't actually, I think it'd be <laughs> probably a bit easier to, to go up this way. Quicker at least. If he ever gets up there. It's a really long climb this, just like it is in the real game. Okay, so... Long jump onto this. Stop, because I'm really scared. And there's the last one there. Okay, I think the red coin star appears on the middle of that thing anyway, so I should be able to quickly grab it after I get this. Yep, I was right. So, I'll, actually, where does the... Where's the other one? Because if it's, like, directly above that, I wonder if I can do it. No, it's not. Of course it's not. That thing's there. So we'll grab the red coin one, since it's right there. Can't believe I didn't grab the star when I fell off the vine. Normally he does. I didn't realise that he was going to go so far away from it when he, when he came off of it. That's okay. Let's just keep going. I can't believe I made that jump as well. Jesus. Turn on a panic merchant here, expecting everything to fail. Okay. I think this is how I got there before. Right? Is that it over there? Yes, I think so. Okay. So yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to go up this way this time, just to show that method off. That wasn't actually hard at all, but this bit up here is pretty nerve-wracking, not going to lie. Because that happens, uh... Okay, I was going to say, if I didn't land on this bit, I was going to levitate back up, but I did land here, so... It's all good. Don't fall off, don't get crushed. I don't know if you can get crushed there, it looks like maybe you could. More likely is you'll just fall down, though. Alright. And I'm definitely not going to take that method again, we'll just kick our way up this thing. I think that's a bit smarter. This would also be a nightmare to do with the keyboard a bit, with all the angle changes and stuff. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's that. Ugh. Wait, so did I even need to do that? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Okay. That's interesting. Let's just drag this out for as long as we can, because obviously that's what's going on. Honestly though, like, why can't I get a half decent angle? Why is it why is it taking me more than once? Like, there's literally not a single thing that's even slightly difficult. Pressed L, just as a reflex there. Wanted to just cheat, just to show the game who's boss, but... No, I, I don't know. Um, it's, it's bad form to blame your controller, but I really do think it's at fault, partially at least. I mean, like, why did it take him so long to actually hit the wall there? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, seriously, like, I'm, I'm trying to turn around, but he just, he just isn't doing it. Okay, see, that that's what I was trying to do, but it just decided not to work. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to use the code. I mean, I probably could just backflip on top of that. God, what a pain, seriously. I really don't like that stuff, I don't know. I normally quite like platformers as well, but... I don't know, sometimes they just annoy me. I like the texture on the top of that thing, it's really detailed. I've got a wall kick up here. It is actually quite, quite scary doing this section. Is this lined up right? Who knows, dude. Alright, it worked. Okay, it is time to put on the code because my patience has been reached. So let's go all the way back up. I am happy to restart that section on its own. I will not be getting back up here entirely on my own. I just don't have the patience anymore. I like this hack, but um, I don't like it that much. Come on. Oh, and from now on, if I make it onto a vine, then fall off. When I use the levitate code, I'm going to go back to that, the vine, like, right before it. Or, like, the, the vine that I fell off of, I mean. Okay. See, th there really is nothing that hard about this, as you can see. It's just jumping from pole to pole. You know, if you've played Mario 64, you've done this a million times. So I guess, uh... Ground Pound. Okay, got it that time. Gosh, I can't believe how long this video was going on for. I really thought this would have been really quick, but I guess there's been quite a bit of uh, screwing up on it. Well, who cares, right? I've actually managed to get every star in this level, so I can leave it now. As you saw, 
There was no 100 coin star, but the 100 coin star is filled on this. It just one of the stars just happened to count as that. I'm not sure which one it was. But um, yeah, even if I did get all the stars, I don't think 100 coin star would appear. So we'll just leave it there for this one. In the next one, we'll head on to the fourth level, Glenny Galleon. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.